Welcome back to our weekly AI News Roundup, where we dive into the most exciting updates from the world of artificial intelligence. From Tesla's incredible Optimus robots that aim to assist with everyday tasks, to Meta's new course on their cutting-edge Llama 3.2 models. Plus, we'll explore Crea AI's revolutionary video creation tool and some amazing open-source developments in text and image-to-video generation. There's so much happening this week, let's get started! News number one, Tesla unveils Optimus robots for everyday tasks. Tesla recently unveiled its groundbreaking Optimus robots during an event on October 10, 2024. These robots are designed to take on a wide range of everyday tasks, moving beyond the typical perception of robotics. Elon Musk showcased the robot's capabilities, describing them as future companions that can perform chores such as walking dogs, babysitting, mowing lawns, grocery shopping, and even serving as a friend. With their ability to walk, pick up objects, use tools, and respond to voice commands, the Optimus robots promise to integrate seamlessly into everyday life, offering practical assistance in various activities. Musk emphasized that these robots are not just conceptual, but aim to become a part of regular household routines. Priced between $20,000 and $30,000, Tesla expects to begin selling Optimus robots by the end of 2025. This pricing strategy positions Optimus as, as a more accessible advanced robotics option for both personal and business use. The robots showcased improved mobility, speed, and dexterity, with the latest version, Optimus Gen 2, being lighter and more efficient than earlier prototypes, marking significant progress in the development of advanced robotics. During the event, the robots were not only displayed, but also interacted with the audience and even danced to music, highlighting their potential for entertainment alongside practical uses. Tesla's vision for Optimus goes beyond assistance, hinting at a broader role for the robots in reshaping personal assistance and the labor market. However, the successful realization of these robots in the consumer market will depend on overcoming technical, regulatory, and societal challenges. Let's check out the event demo video shared by Tesla. Speaking of robots, So everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we, we started up with someone um, in a robot suit, uh, sort of down. And then we've progressed tr dramatically year after year. So if you extrapolate this, you're really gonna have something spectacular, something that anyone could own. Um, so you could have your own personal R2D2 C3PO. And I think at scale, the, the, you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Probably less, less than a car is my prediction, long term. Now, you know, it'll take us a minute to get to the long term, but, um, but fundamentally at scale, uh, the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to, do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And I, I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. Yeah. Because I think everyone of the 8 billion people of Earth, I think everyone's going to want their Optimus buddy. News number two, Meta AI introduces new course for Multimodal Llama 3.2. Meta AI recently launched a new course titled Introducing Multimodal Llama 3.2, aimed at guiding developers and researchers on how to maximize the capabilities of their latest Llama 3.2 model. This course, taught by Amit Sangani, Director of AI Partner Engineering at Meta, offers an in-depth look into the multimodal capabilities of Llama 3.2, which has already become a standout in the open AI model space. Llama 3.2 is designed to handle both 
both text and vision tasks, making it a powerful tool for a wide range of applications. The course covers essential features such as image classification, tokenization, tool calling, and multimodal prompting. By the end of the course, participants will have a thorough understanding of how to leverage Llama 3.2's capabilities for tasks like understanding complex visual inputs or using prompts to generate sophisticated responses in various contexts. From web searches, to mathematical problem solving. One of the course's highlights is how it explains the use of Meta's Llama Stack, a suite of tools that simplifies tasks such as fine-tuning the models and generating synthetic data. It also dives into how the TikTok and tokenizer has been expanded to support a broader range of languages and handle more complex encoding tasks. Additionally, the course emphasizes practical applications with examples of how Llama 3.2 can perform advanced image reasoning tasks, such as analyzing dashboard errors or grading written homework based on photographed images. This course is an excellent opportunity for AI enthusiasts, developers, and researchers to deepen their understanding of the powerful Llama 3.2 model, unlocking new potentials in multimodal AI applications. Let's watch the course demo video shared by Meta AI. I'm thrilled to announce our new course, Introducing Multimodal Llama 3.2, built in partnership with Meta and taught by Amit Sangani, who's the director of Pan Engineering for Meta's Llama team. Very glad to be here with you, Andrew, and to teach this course. The Llama open family of models has been a game changer for AI, and Llama 3.2 released new multimodal capabilities so you can understand both text and images. This course will show you how you can take advantage of the Llama model, as well as Meta's new Llama stack which is an open source orchestration layer for building on top of the Llama family of models. The Llama models are open, so anyone can download, customize, fine tune, and build new applications on top of them. Meta's been a leader in developing open models, which is why many developers have found them incredibly useful. That's right. At Meta, we believe that openness drives innovation and is the right path forward. That is why we continue to share our research and collaborate with our partners and the developer community. Llamas are already powering many applications. For example, including these Meta Ray-Bans that I'm wearing. Hey Meta, tell me a joke about llamas. Why did the llama refuse to play poker? Because it always got fleeced. It almost feels like it was just yesterday that we were here together presenting a short course on Llama 2, and now you have Llama 3.2 out. What can learners look forward to seeing in this course? This course will introduce you to the new models and features in 3.2 release and allow you to try them out in building many interesting and cool use cases in different lessons. In this release, we have provided four new models. With the 11B and 90B models, we have added vision capabilities. And to support on-device applications, we have provided the smaller 1B and 3B models. In the lessons in this course, you will explore the vision capabilities of the 11B and 90B models, ranging from image classification to combining the vision and tool use. You might have heard of the user and assistant roles in LLMs. Llama introduces new roles, such as the IPython role. This is a tool calling role, giving the Llama family built-in and user-defined tool calling capabilities. And you will explore the Llama Stack API. This is a standardized interface for common tool chain components like fine tuning or synthetic data generation to customize Llama models and build agentic applications. All that sounds fantastic. So I hope you join us for this course. And I don't know, Amit, if the model family keeps growing, we might need a bigger desk. That's right. Ta news number three, Crea AI introduces Crea video feature for AI powered video creation. Crea AI has launched an exciting new feature called Crea Video, designed to revolutionize video creation using AI technology. This innovative tool allows users to generate videos by combining keyframes and text prompts, offering a simple yet powerful way to craft dynamic visual content without requiring advanced video editing skills. The Crea Video feature works by letting users set specific keyframes, which act as visual markers throughout the video timeline, and then use text prompts to describe the scenes or movements between these keyframes. With this this approach, Crea AI transforms static concepts into dynamic sequences, offering fine control over how the video evolves. Users can also adjust various parameters, such as aspect ratios, 
movement intensity, and even loop settings, providing flexibility and creative freedom. For advanced users, particularly those subscribed to Kriya's Max Plan, the platform offers even more customization options. The intuitive interface allows users to fine-tune the timing, reposition keyframes, and make real-time adjustments to create polished, professional quality videos. This is a game changer for content creators, marketers, and businesses looking to produce high quality video content quickly and efficiently. Crea Video is part of Crea AI's broader mission to make generative AI tools accessible to everyone, simplifying complex tasks like video creation while maintaining high production value. By expanding their platform from image generation to video content, Crea AI is poised to help a wide range of users, from hobbyists to professionals, enhance their content content creation process. This marks a significant milestone in AI-powered video production, opening new possibilities for creative storytelling and marketing in the digital world. News number four, open source text and image to video model released. A new open source text and image to video model, Pyramid Flow, has just been released offering an exciting new way to generate high-quality videos from text and images. This model is considered a major breakthrough in video generation technology, rivaling existing models like Pika, Kling, and Runway Gen 3. Pyramid Flow stands out for its training efficiency and the ability to produce impressive 10-second videos at a resolution of 768p and 24 frames per second. The model supports both text-to-video and image-to-video generation making it incredibly versatile for various creative projects. With two model options available, one for 384p resolution and another for 768p, the tool allows users to generate video clips in different formats depending on their specific needs. Pyramid Flow's efficiency and training through flow matching ensures that it can deliver high quality video outputs without requiring extensive computational resources. What's more, Pyramid Flow is released under the MIT license, making it freely available for developers and researchers researchers to explore, modify, and integrate into their own project. This open source initiative promotes collaboration and innovation in the AI community, giving users access to cutting edge video generation technology without the typical restrictions of proprietary models. Available model checkpoints have been posted on Hugging Face, with the full project code expected to be released soon on GitHub. With this new model, creators now have an accessible, powerful tool for producing AI-generated videos, and it's expected to pave the way for further advancements in the field. Pyramid Flow is poised to change the landscape of video generation, especially in areas like content creation, marketing, and entertainment. News number five, Google's Imogen 3 now available to all Gemini users worldwide. Google has officially made its latest image generation model, Imogen 3, accessible to all Gemini users globally. Imogen 3 represents Google's most advanced model to date, bringing significant improvements in photorealism, instruction following, and overall image quality. Users can now create highly realistic, detailed images that are even more precise and free of distracting artifacts, making it ideal for a wide range of applications, from marketing to creative projects. One of the key highlights of Imogen 3 is its ability to follow user instructions instructions more accurately, which means the generated images better align with the input prompts provided. This improvement in instruction following is particularly important for users who need specific, fine-tuned results for their content. The enhanced model also reduces the likelihood of errors or unwanted artifacts in the final output, ensuring a more polished and professional image. Imogen 3 builds on Google's earlier advancements in AI-powered image generation, and its rollout to all Gemini users underscores Google's commitment to making cutting-edge AI accessible to a broader audience. Whether for professional designers, content creators, or hobbyists, the availability of Imogen 3 allows more people to leverage the power of AI to produce stunning, high-quality visuals without needing advanced technical skills. As the demand for AI-generated content continues to rise, Imogen 3 positions itself as a go-to tool for those looking for efficient, high-quality image creation. By integrating this model into the Gemini ecosystem, Google is empowering users worldwide to unlock new levels of creativity and productivity with minimal effort. News number six, Kling AI upgrades lip sync feature with realistic voiceover functionality. Kling AI has once again enhanced its popular lip sync feature, this time introducing text-to-speech TTS voiceover functionality that includes a range of highly realistic voices. This update 
allows users to generate not only lifelike video character lip movements, but also pair them with high quality voiceovers seamlessly. In the updated lip sync pop-up, users can now enter text, choose from a variety of voice options, and automatically generate both voiceover audio and lip synced video. This new feature makes it easier for content creators, marketers, and animators to bring their digital characters to life with minimal effort, offering a new level of personalization and realism in character animation. The addition of TTS VoiceOver is designed to enhance user experience by simplifying the process of creating dynamic video content. Whether for animations, educational videos, or interactive media, this feature can significantly reduce production time while maintaining high quality output. Users can also adjust the tone, style, and pacing of the voice to suit their project's needs, making it versatile for various content types. Kling AI's continuous updates to its lip sync feature demonstrate the platform's commitment to empowering creators with tools that are both innovative and accessible. This latest upgrade promises to be particularly useful for those seeking to create professional grade content without the complexities typically associated with video production. Let's see the demo video shared by Kling AI showcasing the enhanced lip sync feature. Kling AI's lip sync function is now live. Come and try it out. Dreams are made real with every frame, a story to reveal. This all or nothing really got a way of driving me crazy. I need somebody to heal. News number seven, Suno AI introduces Replace Sections feature for Pro and Premier users. Suno AI has just launched an exciting new feature for its Pro and Premier users called Replace Sections, giving creators even more control over their music production. This feature allows users to modify specific parts of their songs by changing lyrics, or adding instrumental breaks, such as a guitar riff or a drum break, making it easier to enhance or personalize their tracks without starting from scratch. The process is simple and intuitive. Users can right-click on a song or use the More Actions menu to select the Replace Section option. Once in edit mode, they can choose a 10 to 30 second portion of the song to recreate. Lyrics are automatically populated, allowing for quick updates or changes. If users prefer, they can even add instrumental elements like a drum break or guitar solo instead of lyrics, creating dynamic and varied musical arrangements. Two versions of the modified section are generated for users to choose from, offering flexibility in selecting the best fit for the song. After choosing a section, the platform seamlessly transitions to generating a full song with the newly updated portion. Suno AI has also provided helpful tips for maximizing results with the Replace Sections feature, such as verifying lyrics before replacing sections and selecting slightly longer portions of the song to allow for smoother transitions. This powerful feature is an early access beta and is currently available for free to Pro and Premiere users, making it an excellent time for creators to experiment with their tracks and add creative touches. The Replace Sections feature underscores Suno AI's commitment to providing versatile and accessible tools for musicians looking to refine their songs with precision and creativity. Thanks for tuning in to this week's top AI news. We've seen some amazing advancements from cutting edge robots to innovative AI tools that are shaping our future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest in AI technology. Stay ahead, stay curious, and we'll see you in the next one.